Hello and welcome. My name is Andrew Grant. In this video, we're going to have a quick look at a, a problem that seems to be cropping up with regard to Visual Studio 2017 in C++. Uh, not sure if it affects the others, though. I think the other languages like C Sharp and that, but I think it does. You want a class diagram. You got yourself a bit muddled up, or you just want to with the classes and the objects and all of that and you or whatever or you just want to see a layout to make sure that you're following the design criteria of a project and you go across to your to your class like here and you right click on it and you do view class diagram the operation could not be completed no such interface supported all right what 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 to do We'll go down to the next one and have a look. So we do the same again and view class. It's the same thing. So what we have to do is close Visual Studio. Now hopefully you've got the Visual Studio installer. The new one. Made it modular and nice and smooth. Rather quick as well. If you don't have it there, you can go onto the web and grab it from the Microsoft uh, Visual Studio website so we'll get with that. and then just start that up I say yes we can get rid of that, we don't need it now continue wait a couple of seconds for the uh, installer to configure itself only takes a second or two with the power, ah there we go Visual Studio Community, so we want the modify button so we do modify again wait while it configures itself and gets everything now we want to go to individual components and then you scroll down until you reach code tools and the first choice should be class designer understand the physical structure of types and their relationships enable that so make sure it's got a nice nice blue square with the box uh, white tick in it the install size is only 8 megabytes and then come down to the right hand corner and bottom corner and click modify it only takes a minute or two because 8 megabytes that's a pretty small extension to be popping in only takes a, minute, a second or two like I say or if you've got a slower machine you can go and make yourself a cup of coffee and it's finishing up there we go now if we launch Visual Studio we can close that install the box off now the dialog box for the installer we can close that it will go there we go there we go, let Visual Studio wind itself up go back to the, uh, the simple project that uh, I was using and here we go, we're back in there and now all we have to do once it's all settled down and everything come back, right click view class diagram get a little whirly thing and here we go there we go now we need to know what is what, so we'll just drag on and there we go, we've got all the inheritance and dependencies. Okay, thank you very much and we'll see you next time. Have a great day.